Hello everyone, Naturally Keela here. I have missed you guys. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've abandoned you guys. But I had to make a video and let you guys know what's been going on in my life and why I've been so absent. And I just, I'm going to ask for your forgiveness now. Because I think at the end you'll understand. You'll be like, oh Keela, you're alright girl. It's okay. <laughs> but I feel like I've been gone like a month of Sundays. But anyway, let me tell you guys what's been going on. I realized this yesterday as I was sitting at work and I wanted to do a video a couple of weeks back and I just hadn't had the, the chance. Everything started moving really, really fast. Um, so, let me tell you guys what's going on. Okay, so um, if you guys remember my videos that I've made this year, um, basically, you know, the 2012 video and the one that I did around my birthday um, about taking a leap and just doing what you want to do. So I wrote a piece back May 8th, I believe, um, and it was about faith. And if you guys have not read it, it is on naturallykeela.blogspot.com. Um, I did think about coming on here and reading it to you guys, but... I want you guys to check it out there first and then I'll gladly come on here and read it to you guys if you like. But um, I decided to take a leap of faith and I decided that I wanted to go back to graduate school to finish my MBA. So what I decided to do or what I had been debating on since the end of last year was quitting my job. And... I knew I wanted to go back to graduate school. I had been looking into it. I well, I knew I wanted to have my MBA. I've always wanted to have my MBA. But I also was going back and forth with, do I want to go to cosmetology school? Because I do want to own my own salon one day. Do I want to go ahead and get my MBA so that I have all of this and then get my license? Like, what do I want to do? Um, so I went back and forth, back and forth, and I couldn't decide, but I knew I wanted to quit my job. I was like, you know, I went in and checked out one of the schools that had co a cosmetology program, went uh, back to my alma mater to see what I needed to do to get back into the graduate program or whatever. Um, so I was really, you know, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I'm, you know, I'm getting up there. So I wanted to decide what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. So, um, I've been so frustrated with work and just not feeling fulfilled in the position that I was with, with, with the position that I was in, excuse me, um, I wanted to do more. I wanted to feel like I was contributing to society and I didn't feel like I was doing that with my other job. I just kind of felt like I was taking people's money. I was working in retail for a really great company. Like, you see commercials for this company all the time. Fortune 100, 500, maybe, company. Um, but I just wasn't feeling fulfilled. So, I applied um, to a position um, at the campus, that I, the school that I went to. And I was like, you know, if I can get the position, I can get the position. Out of the way, I'm going back to graduate school. And that's going to do, you know, I'm going to do that full time, whatever. So what I ended up doing was applying to the position. Um, and I just so happened to hear back from them on a Thursday wanting to schedule an interview. So I was like, really? That Friday I got to work, had our uh, meetings, our monthly meetings. And I was sitting there like, this isn't even worth it. This isn't even you, Tequila. Like, you are... You know so much better than this or you should be doing not better than this because I don't want anyone to think that I'm better than anything but I just felt like it wasn't what I said I wanted to do I know we say we want to do this we want to do that and we don't always do it but you know I, I don't like preaching to other people and then not doing it myself so that's what happened with me um so I got there and I you know I walked into my manager's office and I was like you know what I didn't know how I wanted to do this, but I'm resigning, and I can type the letter up for you now if you want me to, so that you have your official letter and you have everything in writing, but this is not for me. This is just not, you know, I'm going back to graduate school, I've already decided this, I didn't know when I wanted to do it, but I'm doing it. So, I 
ended up doing that and I have not looked back. Um, for the rest of that weekend, that Monday, and I knew they were going to do it. They went ahead and said, Tequila, you know what? You can go ahead and go home. That's what they do. So I knew it was going to happen. I was okay with it. I was okay with it. Come that Wednesday, I get a call from my school wanting um, to, well, no, I had the interview that Wednesday. Okay. The following Monday, which made a week from the day that they went ahead and told me, you know what? Yeah, you can go ahead and go home. I got offered the job um, and then I started like a week later so I guess the moral of the story is step out on faith and that's what I've been doing so what what's happened since then is it has freed up my weekends I am now off on weekends I can now go to events I can now be social <laughs> I can be the social girl that I am um, so with that, I have been to Atlanta, and I don't live in Atlanta. I know a lot of people think I live in Atlanta, but I don't live in Atlanta anymore. Um, I'm two, two and a half hours south of Atlanta. So I actually get to go to Atlanta for, for events. I went to a hair and hip hop event, which had K. Michelle of Love and Hip Hop. Um, the next week, I went back to Mattyology's um, Style Bloggers of Color blogging um, conference. Um, then this past weekend, I got to go to Birmingham, Alabama for uh, Kinky Curly Coyle. She is on YouTube. Um, she had her second Magic City Natural Hair Meetup featuring two of two naturals here on YouTube that I absolutely love, watched during my transition, um, transitioning stages, and still watch. Beautiful Brown Baby Doll and Alicia James. And I had already met Beautiful Brown Baby Doll at the Natural Hair Show. Um, but I got a chance to meet Alicia James. And I must say, you guys, I am a huge fan of her music. Her voice is just so beautiful. Go to my blog, naturallykeela.blogspot.com, so that you guys can actually um, read how I felt about her CD. But I absolutely loved it. I listened to it on repeat coming back from Birmingham. Um, I've listened to it every day since then. Like, it's just... A beautiful CD like non-stop I don't have to skip any songs I can listen to it in its entirety and think about it how many mainstream artists can you do that you know it was amazing I met her and she was so humble she liked my hair I liked her hair we got to take a picture she was just a sweetheart um, so that's what I've been doing and I got to meet two of um, my YouTube followers who are also on YouTube so I gotta go check them out Miss Fashion Guru 95 and Megan Millions, Megan Millions, <laughs> sorry if I said that wrong, but I'm about to go check them out as soon as I post this video. Um, and I just want to tell you guys, thank you guys for coming up to me and saying something. It was so nice to meet you guys and your mother. So that is what I've been, that is what I've been up to everyone. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being so supportive of me and I really, really appreciate it. Um, you guys already know where I'm at. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. All Naturally Keela. And then, of course, you guys know about the blog, naturallykeela.blogspot.com. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, do something nice for yourselves. Do something nice for someone else. Be blessed and be a blessing. Bye.